So, I don't like when people will say shit to me like, um, well, I don't see why you didn't make it and other shit. You got to do what you need to do and blah, blah, blah. And I was just be like, yo, well, since you know so fucking much, why don't you make me successful? Why don't you go do that shit? Because here's, here's the fact that I'm at, right? People are much more prone towards being negative than to being positive. If somebody can point something negative out about you, they will not hesitate to say that shit to you. But if somebody thinks something positive about you, it's extremely rare that they're going to tell you that positive thing on their mind. So, when you take that into account and look at the fact that you're here now, and you're saying something positive about me, right? Well, here's the thing. You you have a strong enough positive feeling towards me to say something positive, yet you don't share or buy my shit, right? So if somebody who feels a strong enough positive presence towards me doesn't buy or share my shit, then why should I think that people who don't say shit to me would be willing to share or buy my shit. That that's just not a logical conclusion to come to, right? Doesn't make sense. Plain and simple, I don't have that it factor. My music is not good enough. It doesn't sound good enough. I don't have good enough quality. I don't have that special thing with my fucking music that's going to make people buy it or make people share it. I don't. And I could work on this shit for the rest of my life, but I just don't have, I just don't have that thing, whatever the fuck it is. Because, I mean, if you really look at it, right, there's some people that come out with, y'all, there's some shit that blows up that's like, y'all, I understand people got different tastes, but there's just certain shit that, it's like everybody with different tastes united should be able to get together and say, yo, come on now, let's be real about this shit right here, right? But that shit got whatever factor that it is, right? And in some cases, it is that the shit, it just sounds nice, right? But then there's, there have been some things I've seen recently on TikTok. It's like, it don't even at least sound good. It's like, I don't understand that shit, right? Because it's like, it could at least, you know, be pleasing to the ears. Even if it's like some shit that my taste don't agree with. It's like, it, you know, like mumble rap. I don't like mumble rap, but I can understand listening to the sound, how the sound itself could be pleasing to someone, right? Even though I don't like it. But there's certain shit that's just like... It's like nails on the chalkboard, bruh. It's like there's no lyrics. There's no content. There isn't even a sound... Sound good aspect to it. None. Nothing. Right? So there's just something that people just... They relate to. They resonate with. Whatever it is. It's life. You deal with the cards you've been dealt. My cards... Just on for me to be successful in that fucking way. It is what it fucking is. So I got to go out there. I got to go get money at a fucking nine to five or whatever the fuck I do. To get money. To pay bills. It's life. It is what it fucking is. Now I'm going to keep doing my thing. Of course, because this is just what I want to do. But I'm not so disillusioned. To have some fucking fantasy in my fucking head of some shit that's not going to happen. It's not realistic. Because the fact of the matter is that if it was something realistic. The numbers would show to some degree, right? And people always want to look at shit and be like, oh, it's not working hard enough, right? 
Okay. Everybody has their own perspectives and shit. But it's just like, for me, I pushed and pushed and spent literally thousands of dollars year after year. And just looking at the results from that, the numbers from that, how much came back and whatnot, it's like, even for that level of work, at that level of starting, those numbers, just in my personal opinion, did not look decent enough for me to be like, if I push myself to my limits for years upon years, if I grew over time and I did all of this and I did all of that, that eventually at some point it would get to a satisfactory point. Whereas for me, like, I'm not the type of person where I want to be like all, you know, rich and have all of this crazy stuff. I don't even want most monetary things. The only things I really spend my money on is electronics, really. That's it. Like, music, video games. That's about it. Like, I barely spend money on clothes. There are some clothes that, you know, I like that. Eh, they get up in a couple hundred. I don't really buy them like that. But there's stuff that I like that I would probably buy if I had the money, right? That's about it. But beyond that, it's like, I don't really want much. All I really want is peace of mind. You know, I want to be able to come home and be left the fuck alone. Like, I don't want to have to deal with, you know, drama, especially family drama. Right? Where it's like, I don't want to have to deal with somebody being all up in my business, asking all of these questions. It has nothing to do with, you know, trusting people and shit. I just don't like people all up in my fucking business. Like, that's what I don't want. I don't like people who ask me a whole bunch of questions. I don't like when people ask me tedious fucking questions to fucking answer. I don't, I don't like that shit. I don't like when people ask me waste of time fucking questions. Like, me answering this question is not going to change my life. It's not going to change your life. It's not going to change anybody else's life. Nine times out of ten, it's a question about some shit that happened in the past that you can't do shit about anyway. Because it's in the past. It's done. It's over with. Nothing you can do about it. So what's the point in asking a question about that shit? Those types of questions irk my soul. Do not ask me a question about some shit that I cannot do nothing about. Because it's a waste of my fucking time. And every second that I waste is a second I will never get back. And those seconds add the fuck up. I hate wasting fucking time. So I don't like talking about stupid, dumbass, fucking waste of time shit. I don't like when people ask me a million fucking questions that's leading nowhere, that has no point. I don't I don't like none of that shit. And that's why I would just be feeling like, leave me the fuck alone. Because people want to drag all of this shit out of you. People want to create all of this drama where there doesn't need to be none. And then when I'm like trying to avoid people because they constantly cause this drama, then they want to cause drama because I'm avoiding them. Well, I'm avoiding you because you stress me out. You cause me drama. You you cause me issues. Dealing with you is like fucking punishment. That's why I avoid you. I mean, plain and simple. Like, that's, that's the type of person I am. Like, if, if I feel like dealing with you brings me nothing but pain, I avoid you. That's just what I do. I'm not going to I'm not going to sit there and suffer and try to be around people that make me suffer to just to be around them. So I leave. I remove myself from the situation. And a lot of people get mad at me for doing that. Cuz they're like, "Oh, you could work shit out, blah blah blah." Look. I understand that I have this whole perspective where I do crazy ass shit where it's like you look at it and it's like oh I do shit on a whim and whatnot like that do all of this crazy shit but when I'm dealing with someone whether it's friends family whatever there's a certain point where you notice that certain shit is just somebody's personality it's just embedded in their fucking core this is who they are 
This is what they do. Even if they don't want to hurt you, even if you let them know that that shit is hurting you or making you feel a certain type of way, because that shit is so deeply ingrained into who they are. Even if they try, they're not going to be able to change it. And I noticed those certain things that people just. Chances are less than one percent that you're going to be able to change that. I I'm able to see that type of shit. And that's something that a lot of people don't seem to understand because it's like at the end of the day, people like and they may in some cases they have the intention to change that shit to not, you know, hurt you or interact with you in a certain way, but they can't change it. Because it's a part of who they are. It's a part of their mentality. What they them dealing with all the things that they dealt with in life. Most of which is pain. Because hey, the majority of what develops us as people is pain. Because of the way that people in this world think. The way that the world functions. This world has this whole mentality where it's like. You teach people based off of pain and suffering. I mean. Even though it's been proven that, you know, positive reinforcement is actually more effective than punishment. That's how our world works. Whatever is the popular way of thinking, that's what we stick with. Like the whole concept of alphas. It's not real. Person who brought it to our attention, found out they were wrong, told everybody they were wrong. And nobody listened because it was already popular. It's so much shit that makes our life harder than it really needs to be. That's not going to change because of the fact that it's popular. Even though there is something much better that we have as a choice because this is popular, it stays as the dominant thing. We stay going through all of this pain and suffering and struggle because something is popular. And everybody wants to stick with it because they're comfortable with that. And nobody wants to change. Nobody wants to look at the facts. Nobody wants to look at the information and be like, yo, we don't even have to live like this. We don't even have to go through all of this pain. We don't even have to go through all of this suffering. Shit could change. Shit could be different. Shit could be better. But it's not because the pain and suffering is the popular. It's life. You can't do shit about it. So it's like there's no point in sitting there and thinking about, oh, coulda, woulda, shoulda. This is life you should have. You know, you got all of this talent. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. I try. That's the best I can fucking do. You might think I'm lazy. You might think I'm not doing shit. But I fucking try. But I'm not going to be the type of person that's going to sit there and be like, hey, look at me. I'm working towards this thing right now. I want you to see me working towards it. So you know that I'm working towards it. No, I'm not going to say shit. I'm just going to do what the fuck I do. And while you sit there thinking I'm not doing nothing, I'm doing something the entire time. But I'm doing what I want to do. I'm doing things my way because it's certain things that I want, a certain path that I want to take. And I don't like explaining shit to people. I'm not good at explaining shit to people. So you're not going to be able to get it because you're not me. But if you know so fucking much. Why don't you make me famous? Why don't you make me successful? Why don't you take my talent some fucking way? But you're not. Because you can't do that shit. You have no fucking idea how to. Even though you act like you know every fucking thing. 